Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Lauren from Guthrie and Ganny and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you a roundup of all of the amazing new fabrics that have come into my shop where I am just now, Guthrie and Ganny, during the month of March. So this is my regular monthly roundup of all of our new arrivals. We have new fabrics arriving into the shop all the time and this is a really great way to see all of them up close and get an idea of their texture and their drape and how they move so that you can really start to visualize what they'd be like in a garment so there is lots of inspiration coming your way there's definitely lots of summer vibes lots of color lots of prints but also some plains and classics as well so if you're looking for any of the fabrics that I specifically mentioned in this video the best place to find them is in the blog post that goes alongside the video because I'm going to link everything out speak about in there so the link to that is in the description but if you want to just generally keep up to date with all of the new fabrics that we have coming into the shop then keep an eye on the just arrive section there's new fabrics coming in there pretty much every week so there's always lots of new fabric eye candy to have so I'm going to get started with the new Liberty Tanalon collection, which is classic Liberty in all of its details and special touches and like theme and, you know, those prints where you just like look at them and then every time you see something extra in them, it's themed, the, the, the collection is themed around London. So all of the prints in it have reference to London, whether it's the landmarks, I've got one that's sort of inspired by the colourful tube map as well. So I'll show you some of them up close. Now they're all on the classic Tanalon base, it's organic cotton though. So um, it's, but, but in terms of how it feels, it's just the same. It's so lovely and nice and crisp and lightweight. It's really easy to work with, presses really well. This one here's got some classic London landmarks on it and the little red bus and even like little bunch of flowers and a bird there's just so much detail that's why I mean when you look at these types of prints you just see a new thing every time and then this is the one here that is inspired by the tube map the colorful tube map and this comes in a couple of colorways as well I think this one's really really lovely I love the color combinations in these and um, so so yeah some absolutely gorgeous prints in there and if you're wondering what to make with Tanalon I do have a separate video and blog that is all about loads of ideas of stuff that you can sew with Cotton Lawn or, or Liberty Tanalon and um, so I'll link to that in the description as well so you can see that then I've definitely got some nice sort of delicate embroidered summery fabrics coming up so this one here which is the floral grid embroidered eyelet cotton viscose fabric so it's 58 cotton and it's 42 viscose so that viscose content is just making it a little bit more fluid than it would be if it was just cotton but it's a really nice combination it's a very sort of creamy color or like a cappuccino color maybe almost because um, it's it's got more it's got more sort of depth and tone than like a, a traditional sort of cream or an ivory or something like that so it's, it's really really lovely and then got this embroidered grid on it's nice and textured as well it's you know it's a fabric that's not totally flat so it's a really beautiful one I definitely think if it, you were making just like a little top or a blouse you could yeah I don't think you would need to line it maybe you might feel like you want to wear a vest top underneath it but um, yeah, it's a really nice, lovely, summery fabric there. Then we have had three new colourways of the popular double-sided, double cotton gauze, lots of doubles, double-sided, double cotton gauze ginghams. Um, so this was really popular um, last year as well. And this is where it's got a larger check on one side and then a smaller gingham check on the other side. So it's like two layers of very fine kind of gauze fabric. That's what double gauze is and they're invisibly stitched together so that's why you can get this sort of reverse on either side and we we use this fabric in the Agnes pajama kit so good for pajamas but also just really nice for simple little tops and blouses it's a lovely fabric to wear in the summer it keeps you keeps you really nice and cool so yeah three lovely new colors in that one and then we've had a little collection of cottons that all sort of coordinate together really, really nicely. Very blue themed and they are all cotton as far as I can remember. Let me just double check. 
so they're all nice and easy to work with nice and crisp they're not too they're going to hold their structure but they're not going to be stiff so going to be really nice for dresses and tops and nice skirts as well so the first one that i've got to show you is this one here which is the embroidered circle stripe cotton fabric so it's like a pin striped well not really pin actually just like a narrow striped fabric and then it's got a really lovely embroidered pattern over the top so a lovely nice fresh one there and then this next one is basically like the same fabric but without the embroidered bits on it so you could definitely do some combining I think like maybe if you wanted part of the garment to have the embroidery but then the other part to just be the plain fabric then you could definitely sort of combo them together and then this is another one that ties in really nicely it's like a very mini houndstooth fabric again 100% cotton as well so we've called it micro houndstooth and when you look really closely at the texture of the fabric you can see that houndstooth weave in it that's the that's the the, the name or the description of that type of weave of fabric but it's it's almost got a marled sort of effect hopefully the camera is picking that up it's really really lovely probably a little bit lighter weight than those pinstripe ones as well it seems just a little bit more floaty but still 100 percent cotton and then the next ones go together i absolutely love these ones this one is a pre-quilted fabric so it's a sort of broader broader stripe with a narrow stripe and it's got the same fabric on both sides so double sided and then it's got a, a lightweight wadding in the middle so it's so yeah it's like a pre-quilted fabric basically and this would be really lovely for a little sort of waistcoat or a gilet you could make a lightweight jacket with it and then this fabric here is basically just the plain version of this so it means that you would be able to make binding or facings or you know any other little details of the the garment that you were making with the padded fabric you could then coordinate and finish it off with that or you could get one of the others from the range as well and to have a little bit of contrast because they all just tie together really nicely so a really lovely nice collection of crisp crisp blue cottons there then the next fabrics that I want to show you are all fibre mood fabrics so they're all ones that feature in the fibre mood magazine that we stock as well this first one here is 50 cotton 50 viscose it's the green vines cotton viscose fabric and it's just a plain weave it's nice and smooth and because it has got viscose in it it does just have that little bit more drape but the cotton element of it will just make it a little bit more crisp but it's a lovely combination and I love these sort of like a bit of a larger scale kind of um, leaf print on it and really lovely green tones so a gorgeous one there not see through at all you wouldn't need to line it so makes it a really lovely versatile fabric and then the next two are a similar base cloth but they've got different prints on them so this first one is the collage leaves cotton linen jacquard so it's 75 cotton and 25 linen and it's got this really lovely sort of jacquard kind of texture to it in the background really so that's woven into the fabric and then it's got this print on the top it's really really lovely so lots of nice natural kind of texture in this one and and yeah just a really lovely lovely nice crisp fabric so the cotton and linen com combination in here will make it a little bit more structured but you can see here when I hold it up it's not you know it's not stiff it's not like really stiff or anything it does still sort of drape around and move but it's just going to be a bit crisper than anything that would have viscose in it and then this is the same sort of base cloth but it's got a different print on it. So this is like a little bit more sort of modern and abstract. So it's got these lovely kind of um, chunky green lines on it, um, which you, you know, you don't think you would pattern match anything like that. Um, so again, I, th I think it's probably gonna be best suited to tops and blouses and shirts, that kind of thing. I think if you were making a dress, depending on the style, you might feel like you want to line it. I can just see my hand through it a little bit. Um, and you could line it just with a cotton voil um, or you know depending on how much movement you wanted in the garment you probably could line it with a viscose as well and um, if you didn't want it to be too structured but I think for, for tops and blouses you'd be fine it would be more just if you were making a skirt or a dress you might want to think about that next up I'm going to show you some planes because we all just need planes sometimes in our wardrobe to pair with all these beautiful prints so we have got some lovely new colors of 
This fabric here, which we had in a few colorways last summer, but we've expanded the range because it was really popular and it's such, such a nice fabric to work with as well. This is the vintage cotton. And if you're aware of our Rami fabric, which we have been stocking for quite a few years now in lots of colors, it, this is almost like a lighter weight version of that. So the texture of it's very similar to the Rami, but it's just not as sort of thick and structured, um, which makes it just a little bit more versatile probably are suitable for more of a wider variety of garments and um, because the I would say the Rami is more like trousers and kind of lightweight jackets or something that's very structured whereas because this is just a little bit lighter weight and it moves around a little bit more I would say is you know you could do tops you could do shirts blouses you could do like gathered skirts dresses that kind of thing with it and I think it would it would make up really nicely in that so just a lovely new little addition of various plain colors of that one that we've now got in stock and then we've also got this one here in a few different colorways as well this one's plain but i really like it because it's just got a little bit of texture in it so it's like a double gauze really but it's got this gridded texture in it as you see those lines hopefully in the close-up so so again it's just good if you want something that's plain but not but you know it's just got a little bit of something in it like a little bit of something extra so there's a lovely nice like classic white one there's a cream one a pink one a kind of greeny one and then this really lovely bluey one as well so yeah another plain with a little bit of extra in it and then we topped up with just a few new colors of our classic stretch needle cord which again we've been stocking this for a while and it comes in lots of different colors as well but we've added in three new colors this one that i've got here is cranberry and it's just it's just like a nice sort of classic stretch needle cord so i have used this needle cord to make the closet core ginger jeans before i used the carnation pink one quite a few years ago to make gingers now and i absolutely love them so it's good for good for trousers i think you can make the sashes out of it as well closet core sashes and um, you could make a, a sort of fitted kind of pencil skirt I think that would be nice as well or like little kind of mini skirt and um, so so yeah some nice new plain colors of that added to the range and then we have also got a couple of new extra stretchy denims so a question that we get asked quite a lot since we featured the Jali Eleanor pants slash trousers in a sewing society kit last summer is have you got any denim that is suitable for those trousers and quite often we don't because you actually need quite a stretchy fabric for those trousers they're they're like almost a bit like jeggings or like kind of pull-on jeans they're really nice so we did in a stretch velvet which we do still have the pink and tan we've got a little bit of that left but we do have a couple of new stretchy denims that i think would be suitable for it i've not actually made them up but feeling how much stretch is in this fabric i think that they would be suitable for it so this one here is the midnight charcoal stretchy cotton denim fabric so it's 97 cotton and three percent elastane and what's worth bearing in mind is that with stretch denims the percentage of elastane doesn't always equate to the physical amount of stretch that it's got so you can see here like when i'm pulling on it like this you know it's like really stretching quite a bit and i've seen other types of cotton denim that have got three percent elastane maybe even like could be more but they just don't stretch as much i'm presuming it's something to do with the way that it's weaved um but yeah i think the physical amount of stretch that's in these two fabrics make them really good for the eleanors so so yeah another would be another really nice option for a nice plain pair of trousers that you could then pair a beautiful colorful printed top with okay next up i'm gonna throw something into the mix that's maybe like a little bit off piece from a lot of the summary stuff that i've been showing you but we had a couple of really lovely cozy fur fabrics faux fur fabrics come in this month which i'm absolutely loving and if you follow me on instagram you will be seeing this amazing fabric pop up because i made my daughter sophia who's eight a coat out of this i used the the mini paper cut nova coat so it's like the, the kids version of the nova coat um, and this fabric just feels absolutely amazing i love the colors in it it's like a kind of pinky 
orange with the blue and it is just so soft i'm going to use the off cuts to make a cushion because cushion cover because it's just so nice to sit and stroke it and um, but yeah that is really really nice for coats and and jeff my daughter absolutely loves her coat that i made in it and then this other one here which is a lot more neutral in color this one is the accrue animal teddy bouclé fabric and it's got such a lovely texture to it and um, so it's kind of like a sort of oatmeal colour in the background then with these cream textured or sort of raised up at, um, animal print on it and I think this would be really lovely for the Friday Pattern Company Pogo Nip. I would love to make that out of this if I, only I had time. Um, so so yeah, that's another really lovely, nice cosy one there. And then I've got just a few jerseys to show you. Not many. It does vary month to month. Emphasis is definitely on woven, but I do have a few jerseys to show you. So this one here is coming. It's really fun. It is got lots of cars on it there's two colorways so this one's multicolored, and it's it's a like a french terry or a loop back but it's got a it's got a brushed back to it so it's just sort of nice and cozy and fleecy on the background but it's not it's not sort of as thick or heavy as kind of typical sweatshirting fabric it's a little bit lighter weight and um, but but yeah it's really really fun and lovely i think my son would really like this one because he just likes car things so yeah something fun and novelty there and then these fabrics have been super super popular since they came in um, and we are waiting for a top up to arrive so depending on when you're watching this it might depend whether they're showing in stock or not do remember that you can always request a stock notification on our website though if anything is out of stock and then we'll let you know when it's back so this is our active wear sort of yoga yoga wear fabric and it's it's really lovely and thick so you'll see even when i stretch it you still can't really like see through it at all so it's really good it would be great for leggings or you could make like tank tops or fitted t-shirts with it as well that would be really good for sporting activities so there's a couple of prints there's this one here and then the greeny one is the one that we're waiting for more stock to come back in of and um, it feels really lovely and soft really super super stretchy and then we've got a range of planes that coordinate nicely with it as well. So I've brought that pink one over because they go really nicely. So if you wanted maybe like something where you've got different panels and part of it's plain, part of it is, um, is patterned, then that might be a really nice idea or like an outfit where the top is the top is plain but the leggings are the print or whatever make a nice combination. So so yeah, that is the yoga active wear fabric range that we have got in has been super duper popular and then the last jersey one that i've got to show you is another classic stripe but it is a rib so it's got a really nice texture to it so we've got it in this moss green we've also got it in the navy as well it's a really lovely weight it's not too it's not too heavy so it's really good for this time of year super super stretchy and and yeah just really lovely color combinations there so good for tops and t-shirts and yeah that kind of thing it feels really nice and soft as well it is let me just check for you it's a cotton so 95 cotton and five percent elastic and then next up i have got the rolls that are all behind me here that you've maybe been peeking at over my shoulder mixture of various different base cloths and the first ones that i want to show you are the fabric godmother collection so we've had a really amazing selection of new prints from them i've not got all of them on the roll to show you but i can show you them all in the little close-up videos here they're mo they're they're mostly viscose some are like a linen viscose and also a mixture of different base cloths as well so for example this one here is a viscose crepe so it's got just a little bit more texture to it now the scale of some of these prints do kind of vary so the scale of this particular one here is pretty big and i'm going to hold some of it up just so that you can get an idea of how big the scale actually is i love the color combinations in this one i think it's gorgeous i think it would make a really lovely skirt like a long maxi skirt just so that you could see the impact of the print and um, so so yeah a lovely nice larger scale print there and there are some other larger scale ones as well that are also really nice 
and then this one's definitely got the vintage vibes as you can see from these lovely bright colors and flowers in it again this one's a viscose crepe too it's quite textured and um, so you know when you look closely at it you can see that it's not you know it's not got that smooth finish it's got that kind of crepey textured finish which i think lends itself really nicely to the vintage aesthetic of this print and um, so a lovely really nice and bright and colorful one there and then this next one is one of the viscose linens there are a couple of ones that are this this combination so it's 55 linen and 45 viscose this one is amazing when you look closely at this one it's almost like it looks like it's 3d it's like an oil canvas and you can just really see the texture in it it's very very detailed like it's come up really crisply and i love the colors in this one as well it's absolutely gorgeous it would make a lovely a really lovely dress or a nice skirt um for the summer times such a lovely lovely one that one and then this one is a different base cloth again and um, so this one is a viscose but it is a viscose twill so when you look closely at it you can see that twill weave on it actually also has quite a sort of subtle sheen on it too and um, which i think makes it look really elegant and fancy like i think it almost makes it look a bit more um kind of like dressed up a bit in a way so maybe if you had a, a wedding or a special event to go to this one would be a really great option for that it's quite quite a large scale print as well probably not as large as that other one um but still still pretty large scale and again another really lovely color combination on that one then the next one that i've got so we're off the fabric god's mother collection now um, and this one is actually a cotton voile so it's like a like a light lightweight lightweight cotton cotton lawn as well cotton cotton voile and cotton lawn are very very similar in their in their sort of texture and how they how they feel and behave so this one comes in three colors i absolutely love this print i think this would look gorgeous in a blouse that's got lots of lots of gathers in it there's we've got one of the new telly brunette blouse patterns that's got loads of gathers in it and i think it would look stunning in that one and um, it's very 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 soft very lightweight very floaty so i think something that's got a lot of volume in it would look really really lovely in that one i think if you were making a dress it maybe is a little bit transparent so you'd probably want to line it with a plain voile but for tops and blouses i think you would be fine so yeah three really lovely colorways of that one that is one of my faves at the moment i'm desperate to get a little bit of that put aside for goodness knows when i'll have time to sew it but we can always hope um and then the next one i've got comes in a couple of colorways this has got such really amazing kind of beachy vibes to it summery beachy vibes i love it it's the hawaiian blue boho swirl viscose fabric also comes in a navy as well um, and i just love how vibrant it is it just makes me think of the sea or the beach and um, so it's 100 percent viscose it's a plain weave so it's really nice and smooth got that smooth finish to it and the, and just that kind of drape and swish and movement and um, so definitely summer on the horizon with that one and then we have got this one here which does come in a couple of colorways this is a viscose as well but it's got a little bit of elastane in it it is still woven so it's not it's still still classed as a woven fabric although it's got three percent elastane and it's a viscose twill so it's got a little bit of a heavier weave to it so because it's a bit heavier i think it would be really good for some trousers you can make a jumpsuit with it as well also suitable for dresses too and i just love the the sort of modern aesthetic of this one so nice if you like bold prints but you're maybe not into the florals as much then this is a really lovely option and it comes in a couple of colorways as well so so yeah so it's a really lovely fabric to wear it just feels feels really weighty but it's still got the drape so it's a really nice combination and then this next one here this one comes in a couple of colorways as well and again another option if that's that's not floral this is a linear sketch viscose fabric so it's a plain weave fabric plain weave viscose so nice a smooth finish to it and then just got this really lovely kind of abstract random sketchy print on it so so yeah another another lovely option there in the non-floral department 
And then the next couple that I've got to show you are actually viscose linen. So this one here is the Midnight Stems Linen Viscose Fabric. And it's got a navy blue background with these really lovely sort of watercolory kind of painted flowers on it. It's lovely. And the combination is 70 viscose and 30 linen. So because it's got more viscose, it's just generally much more floppy and fluted. But again, that, that linen content in it is just giving it that natural sort of texture to it. Then we've got another print that's got a lovely creamy background color and so many, like the colors in this one really pop out, so vibrant. It looks absolutely amazing. And you can see the watercolor tones in that one as well. So that's the same base cloth as this one, but just a different print. So a couple of gorgeous options there. Viscose linen is such a versatile one. Um, it's good, you, you can make trousers with it, you can make dresses, blouses, tops, shirts, so many different things with viscose linen. It's a, it is a really, really good fabric for this time of year. And then finally, I have got one last one to show you, which again is a viscose, but it does have a little bit of elastane in it. This is the Petal Silhouette Stretch Viscose Fabric. So it's it got 3% elastane in it. Now, unlike the other viscose elastane one that I showed you, this is a plain weave. So it's got like a smooth finish on it, whereas the other one was a twill weave which made it a little bit heavier. So because this is just a plain weave, it's a little bit lighter weight, but that little bit of stretch in it, it basically just adds extra sort of comfort and ease to your garment. And um, it's still classed as a woven fabric. It just has that little bit of extra give, but I just really love the colors in this one. I think it's, it's a bit more of a simple print because it's like shapes rather than sort of textures within the shapes. But, but yeah, it's a really, really really gorgeous one definitely can't see through that either so i don't think you'd be needing to line that whatever you did with that one and then that brings me to the end of my fabric roundup i think i've got most things that came in this month but not absolutely everything so definitely do just keep your eye on the just arrived section to see all of the new things and if you want to see something specific that I've mentioned in the video, check out the blog post that goes along with it. And that's linked in the description too. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Or if you want an answer to any questions, any burning questions or help or advice with anything, the best way to get in touch is to call or email the shop. So I'll put the contact details in there as well. The G&G &G team and I are always more than happy to help. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, then just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.